Ilham Zargan is a doctoral student. Her research focuses on finding a plant-based cure for cancer that could one day replace chemotherapy. She's also one of the first Moroccan citizens to study for a semester on an Israeli campus. Israeli universities always took part in student exchange programs, but as Israel normalizes ties with the Muslim world, a new type of collaborations is enabled. This summer, for the first time ever, a delegation of Moroccan students arrived here at the Ben Gurion University in Be'er Sheva for a student exchange program, a first-of-its-kind collaboration between Israeli and Moroccan academia. What was the reaction among your friends and family when you told them that you're going to study in Israel, of all places? They were shocked at first, but then I had, with my father, I had two hours lecture because he's a baker and he learned his bakery from, from a Jewish person in Fez City. And he just kept telling me about how beautiful the history of bakery is here in Israel. So yeah, it was amazing. They were so supportive. My family was so supportive. Even my brother, he's counting to come next year with his family and move to Israel. Shortly after that conversation, Ilham was already in Israel, studying on the Ben Gurion campus about how health systems work and developing ties with fellow researchers from around the world. Professor Limor Aronson Daniel told the media line how the connection between BGU and the Moroccan universities started. Researchers for BGU have been in touch with Morocco for over 25 years uh, using different passports or, or uh, different paths uh, to be able to do this. But once the Abraham Accords began, we were actually able to formally approach. Uh, so we started with, with the International Université de Rabat. Uh, in the field of humanities to make some connections, and they were enthusiastic about connecting with us. The challenges, says Aronson Daniel, were almost non-existent. It's very interesting because I make connections with countries all over the world, uh, some countries which I lived in, and still when I came to Morocco, although I have no uh, Moroccan uh, heritage in my family, although I've never been in Morocco before, once I stepped there and met the people, there was something very natural. But it wasn't just about school. The exchange students also got a chance to travel around Israel and get to know its people. We asked Ilham what left the strongest impression on her. Regardless of the political conflict, their communities are actually collaborating and working together. I've seen PhD, Arab PhD students being supervised by uh, Israeli professors in the best possible ways. I've seen um, Arabs and Jews working and studying together and collaborating under the same roof. And it's de definitely so different than what we can imagine if we're home and we watch through the TV. Do you think it can give you any hard times or challenges in the future within the academia if you say that you went to study in Israel? We know that Tunisia can't allow people to, to get in if they have the Israeli stamp. But, but it was some kind of priorities to take into account. And yeah, I think that I would rather be here than, any, than the other places. We asked the director of student mobility programs in BGU, what's the rationale in collaborating with Morocco of all places? We are always looking for new collaborations, expanding our academic uh, um, relations with institutions that are leading institutions worldwide. And having this opportunity to collaborate with these two universities in Morocco was a very good opportunity for us. What so, do you think is the main value of cooperating with Morocco of all places? Uh, I think that this will uh, uh, strengthen the, the um, relationship and the, and the ties between Israel and Morocco. Because uh, not only from the point of view of the uh, touristic part, but also uh, strengthening the, the academic relations that can build together uh, research projects for the future and to impact the world. And at least one researcher is already planning the next academic collaboration. Uh, I've, been, I've been already trying to collaborate with some labs for my own research and uh, I am planning to go back. From Beersheba, Adi Koplowitz reporting for the Media Line.